You can't do it on our own. If so, you have heard him and have been taught by him. See, everything I minister, I want it to be what God said. I don't want to minister anything out of my own opinion or my own heart. Because you know what? I ain't got no answers. Jesus got all the answers. He's got the answer to every problem that the world might have. But so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. The people all the time, I tell the truth, no, you don't. You ain't saying what Jesus is saying, you ain't saying the truth. He's the only one that had the truth. That's how come. How can two walk together except they be agreed? I'm not going to be in agreement with any human being. I want to be in agreement with one person. His name is Jesus. You agree with him? I agree with him. We agree with him. It's all about Jesus. Not about any other personality or person. All about him. But he's the only one God raised up with the power. What God wrought when he raised Jesus from the dead. Made a connection to bring people back to God. That you put off concerning the former conversation, the former lifestyle, how you was living, how you was thinking, how you felt, your belief, your truth. Conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. I don't know how you was tricked, but I can sure tell you how I was. And I'm sure each one of y'all can tell me a story of how you was tricked. Because Satan tricked us all. But God, who is rich in mercy, had the answer to bring us all out. That precious blood that has the power to deliver us. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Get you a new mind. A new mind. He can give you a new mind. A mind that can obey him. That mind of Christ. And that you put on the new man. How? Which is which after God is created, and first of all, righteousness, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. His righteousness, not yours, not mine, and true holiness. Amen. God's able to bring us into that. Amen. Let's go to, let's turn the page to third epistle of uh, Ephesians, third chapter, and this is the last few verses here, 14th verse. Ephesians 3rd chapter 14th verse. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and in earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. That's a powerful statement. Yes. Jesus came and said that Moses brought the law, but Jesus brought grace and truth. And of his fullness have we all received grace for grace. Amen. Most people don't even understand what grace is. You know, it's a difference between mercy and grace. Oh, yeah. Mercy is when you do something wrong. And God has mercy on you, and you don't get what you deserve right. for the wrong you did. Not all. Grace is you getting something you don't deserve. A relationship with God that only Jesus can give you through his name and his spirit and his power. Yes, God. That can bring you into holiness godliness and love and the 
the fruits of his spirit. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. How? According to the power that worketh in us. That power is Jesus. According to your faith in him. Unto him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ through all ages, world without end. Amen. Amen. Thank God for coming into your life and doing and being what only he can be. And give God the glory for all his goodness and his mercy and his great grace and his love toward mankind for bringing into the world a Savior that can bring us through each and every sorrow and sadness and problem that we might have. Brother Arthur, would you close us out with a word of prayer, please? Yes. Father God, we thank you for your precious word that you brought today. Lord, we thank you, Jesus, for bringing a salvation that we can feel. We can feel your spirit. There's a whole lot of things, Lord, we don't know like we're sick. So much we don't know, a lot we don't see. But we can feel you, Lord. And we know you're real by the feeling of your love. Because you said God is love and we feel your love. Thank you, Jesus, that you brought this to light in us today. Lord, we thank you for the blood of Jesus who brought all these things to pass, yes, Lord, God. bringing it to pass and cleaning us up and bringing us into your, into your presence as, as you clean us up, Lord, and bringing your church forth, God. Father God, we thank you for, for your love. Lord, we thank you for everything that you've done today, the word, the testimonies, the song. We just praise you, Lord, for such an anointed service that you've given us, Lord, and blessed us and built us up again today to continue, like it was said, so we can go on. Thank you. So we can go on, Lord, and bless you and praise you. We just thank you for all the things that you've done and are going to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, let everyone say amen. 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 To a mighty God. Amen. Praise God. Thank God for Jesus and all the many blessings he bestowed upon each and every one of us. Amen. Bring us into a place that only he can do it. Amen. Amen. We just ask everybody to be in prayer for, for everyone. For, for, for the world. And for all those around us. Amen. Amen. And thank God for Jesus. And as our brother Redwine would say, I love you and ain't nothing you can do about it. And let's let that love of Christ continue. To, to, to dwell in our hearts so that we might be a blessing one to another. Yes. Amen. 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 Love you guys. Have a good day. And thank God for each and every one of you.